Let's play Fixation. This game has a pretty cool loading animation thingy. It's like a cigarette. I don't know why yet, because I haven't played the game, but... It's probably something cigarette related. Actually, it's probably not. It's There's some sort of theme, maybe, because it's a cigarette box thingy. It's made by the guy that made the last one. This is a prequel to um, Company of Myself, which is pretty freaking awesome. The game is by Eli P. Lonin, art by Ben Jelter, audio by David Carney. I'm sure I stumbled on his name the last time, too. Wait, what's that? What's this input? Oh, no thank you. Oh, and I like the theming of the Armor Games logo to fit with the box. That's a nice touch. I've heard there's lots of talking in this one. Try to forget your problems for a second. For now, let's just think about whether the S key or down arrow key. Yes, that's good. Nothing else is important right now. Let's forget all of our difficulties and struggles. Let's just think about your speech and breathing. This looks like freaking. If Mario had a baby with Princess Peach, this is what the baby would look like. It was like pink overalls. This This is... I'm pretty sure this game is about being Princess Peach and Mario's son, daughter. Maybe son, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we should try something else. I don't know what name I should give you. Or what voice. No, this is going to be a lot of talking. Maybe I should just... Blah, 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 blah. Let me make it quick. Dot, dot, dot. Do you think that's seeing a shrink? Finds you as a weak person. I. Maybe. This is the weirdest building layout ever. You guys. You guys should fire your contractors. That's just not normal. For now, try to forget that I am a psychologist. Trying to forget didn't work last time. When I murdered my family or something, I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Alright then. We can call a rain check on this appointment if you'd like. Oh. And if you're. I already forgot what voice I was using. This is why I can't do the voices. I can never remember what voice I'm going to use. But, yeah. No. Hang on. I'm sorry. Wait, I switched your voices. It's alright. I became a psychologist so I could help people. But I can't help unless you want me to. I'll just leave my card on the table. There's no table? I guess that's kind of a table. But it's way away from there. Why are you guys standing during the appointment anyway? You should, like, sit down. It's ridiculous. Oh, Catherine, that's her name. Catherine is Princess Peach and Mario's daughter. This game's already off to an exciting start. Ugh, he made me kind of nervous. And manly. Was I easier to read as I looked? My legs are shaking. Well, not really. You're just kind of shifting back and forth. You do need to calm down a little, though. Can't calm down if I'm just standing around like this. Maybe I need to keep myself busy for a while. And try pressing the A or D left arrow keys. Whee! Dance party time! They rip out a dance now. I can't duck and I can't jump. Guess let's just leave over here. Maybe a little exercise. This is the worst laid out freaking psychologist's office ever. Like, seriously, what did you guys pay for this? This is this is ridiculous. Try not to worry so much. Don't be afraid to pause the game. Okay. How do I pause the game? Oh, you press P. Excellent. Your progress is saved automatically, but you can press the tilted key while playing to unlock cheat code for the current level. Oh, so you can unlock. That's nice. The music get got kind of loud there. Crap. I hope changing the volume doesn't affect what you hear. I just kind of thought of that. How do I... What? Oh! You can freaking double jump? Well, okay then. Could have told me that game, since you're gonna explain. Why would you tell me left and right to walk, but not tell me I can double jump? 
Oh well. And that's how Mario and Princess Peach's daughter died. She had a freaking dresser 50 freaking feet in the air in this random freaking the worst building ever. Just a few more chores, I'll be done for the day. Chores? This is not this is not how you do chores. Chores is like, you know, getting groceries and cleaning the dishes. This is the weirdest this is the worst chores ever. We That actually wasn't so bad. You got problems, lady. You're like, oh, let's just jump into this pit and maybe die. Mm, that sounds fun. What? Seriously? <laughs> like, this is not creating a stress free environment, you guys. This. Pretty sure this is against OSHA regulations. I'm just, you know, I don't want to be a spoil sport, but that. They just burned my hair off. Hmm. Okay. Oh, crap, I have to use the mouse? But... But why? What button do I press again? Oh, I click. Holy crap, lady, that is not good for your lungs. That's... That's just not healthy. Look at that! This is what happens when you smoke, kids. It's not good. Never mind the fact that it saves you from lasers. That's... Oh, hey, Catherine. I didn't think you'd come here. I didn't hear you come in. The you live in the middle of the psychologist's office with laser beams and stuff? The you I hope you're getting, like, discounted rent or something. This is just... This is just messed up. I'm just gonna blow billows of smoke over your apartment, is that cool? I hope that's cool, because this is kind of awesome, actually. I don't know what your boyfriend looks like. Is he an old guy with a top hat that murders me? He probably is. Maybe that's the twist, I don't know. What kind of guy is too busy to come to see his girlfriend's place? Come on, it'll be fun. Keep waiting for her to walk into the pit. That would be highly amusing. I hope you're reading the text, because I'm not reading all of it. I'm trying, but... can't think of a good voice for this person here. So I'll just blow smoke in her face. I'm the worst roommate slash friend or whatever I am, ever. I'll try to mentally prepare myself by blowing smoke all over your face! That's how I mentally prepare. I'm... People don't tend to invite me back. I don't think it's because of the smoke thing, though. Probably not. Like... I must have, like, the craziest lungs ever. Um... What do here? I... Oh, I can walk past these. Maybe she's nervous because her house can murder her. I would be nervous if my house could murder me. That's just, you know... That would put me on edge, too. Like, seriously, people. It's just not right. Did Dr. Wiley build your house or something? Like, honestly. You know, I know he's got discounted rates, but discounted rates aren't that much when, you know, your house can kill you. I mean, you probably sit on your couch and then giant spikes come out of the floor. I mean, that's just... Is that where you want to live? Really? Really. Actually, considering you blow billows of smoke out of your mouth, maybe this is just completely normal for you. No wonder that guy in company with myself was so messed up. He's dating this chick. This is... I mean, really. What the... I don't get it. What happened there? Oh, I gotta keep constant smoke on it? Is that what's up? Okay. 
I'm pretty awesome some of the time. And some of the time I go to the hospital dying of lung cancer. Aha! You must be the famous Thomas. Where's Penelope? No wonder he doesn't freaking visit. Who would visit, you know, they're like... A hundred feet away from each other, but it's like a hundred feet of unending death. She went to the store. Wait. She went to the store. And only she and my mother refer to me as that. Please call me the Sphinx. Uh... I don't do that. I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound like a name to me. It is a name. It's a proper noun, even. Can I call you Thomas? The Sphinx is my online handle. I did pick a good voice for this guy. Everyone knows me by it. It shows what kind of person I am. You're a giant structure made out of rock. This surprises me, Thomas. Thomas is just a word someone else picked. Someone else. The kind of person you are. You're slightly crazier than me. Didn't think that was possible. What do you mean by that? You've got a pharaoh's face and a lion's body. No, that's the Egypt. Wait. No, that's the Egyptian's fangs. Enormous showcases of waste that power enables. I'm gonna blow smoke in your face. My name is... Recalls the Greek Sphinx, a devious creature who slays anyone whose wits are not up to par. I guess that is a better example, but I'm still gonna blow smoke in your face. I don't think anyone's going to go to the Greek Sphinx first. Unfortunately, because the Greek Sphinx is way more awesome. And wait, wasn't she a chick? It doesn't matter. You're sure you're the Thomas that Penelope is dating? Of course, and it's the Sphinx, please. I have the deepest frickin' lungs ever. It's ridiculous. I guess you have similar taste in movies. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I was rude, and I'm choking on your smoke. I'm like frickin' wheezing up in here. I should be dating Muck or something. I'm sorry, I was rude. Sometimes I get flustered when con <laughs> when confronted by such a beautiful woman. That's sure. That's derp. Is flattery your defense mechanism or what? It's no. You must have thrown me off with that look in your eyes. That creepy six pixel wide look in your eyes. I'm sorry. No, seriously, stop that. Wow. Penelope has worse taste in men than they have in buildings. Actually, no. No one has worse taste than they have in buildings, because this is... This is just bad. But now that I'm on to you... Oh. But now that I'm on to you, she means well and deserves to be treated with actual respect. Not theatric nonsense. I've got some things to do. Like walk. Frickin' moonwalk. I've got a moonwalk, I'm sorry. This is the best this is now the best part of this game. I'm sorry, buddy, I just gotta moonwalk for a few minutes. Oh hello! Whoa, that's Why are your legs not broken? You you people creep me out. Hey Tom wait. I need I need more voices here. Hey Tom No, not that voice. Hmm. Hmm. Hey Thomas! How's oh, Catherine! I didn't see you here. What's up? Hey, so you and Thomas, is this ever going to end? I know you people have, like, mental difficulties. I've gotten... I understand that now. Oh god, she actually calls him that. You guys are kind of creeping me out. Is it? Is it okay if I just kind of moonwalk out of here? If this were real life, I would so have moonwalked out of here by now. That's exactly... that's how I deal with problems. I moonwalk out the door. God damn it, Penelope. What? He asked nicely. Right now, that's my voice. I shot her with my gun finger. I am awesome. She should kick him in the head, causing him to fly through the sky. That is actually a pretty good solution. 
That was... Your house does not look like that. That that house would not support that. Also, you really shouldn't smoke inside. You're kind of a butt face for doing that. Look at our town. This town sucks. This is ridiculous. I'm I'm gonna go find a government official to complain to. This this has got to stop. I've got to figure out this thing with Vanellope soon. You can just like not talk to her and not be around her creepy friends and boyfriends. That's kind of an option, you know. For now, I just want to clear my head. I can practice blowing smoke rings. Like you have the weirdest idea of fun, lady. Uh, practice blowing smoke rings. Uh, I don't get. What was I supposed to do again? To blow a smoke ring, but it. What do I have to do? Fling the mouse or something? I need to replay this chapter or something. I was not paying attention when it, I should have been. Well, this is actually a good stopping point for the thing. We beat the first thing. This looks like it's going to be a lot longer. But, uh, tune in next time for more fixation and smoke and weird creepy people that I don't like. <laughs>